Hello, this is Eva of Mind-Based Healing. And today I wanted to just talk about deepening your inductions. Now, most of us have taken classes of how to make our inductions faster. But what I've noticed anytime I go to a class is I think, wow, you know, it's just a few little touch-ups to what that person is saying, you know, when I'm, I'm receiving uh, whatever practice we're doing. And I realize, wow, just a few little touch-ups and they could really drop in so much deeper. And it's so nice to go into that space. And so today I wanted to show you just a few ways to really deepen your induction that don't necessarily make it take longer, but definitely so much deeper, okay? So the first one for us to look at is, and unfortunately I can't see you, I wish I could because then you can really get into it. But the first is to realize, and you can test this with somebody else or try to use what we're gonna do right now, is that massage therapists know this and chiropractics know this. When you're breathing out, your body is actually naturally more relaxed. It's releasing. When you breathe in, there's actually a little bit of a tensing up and then releasing. So when you're giving your induction to your client, it's a really good idea. It's very effective and it's very easy to pace what you're saying to their out breath. For example, like this. Breathe only as quickly as you release the old thoughts, just letting go. Deeper and deeper down. Nothing you need to do. Let go. Even the numbers, the five to one or three to one or 10 to one, if you actually, again, do that going down with the breath, 10 deeper down, nine just letting go, eight so much deeper now, Seven, just dropping, melting, letting go. Again, it's a small little change and it makes a really big difference. Notice this one. If I'm not looking at you, if I'm not even looking at or seeing your, your, your breathing and I'm just a very consistent, you know, flat, supposedly supposed to really help someone drop into trance because it's so boring. But actually, if you don't, do that. Imagine this, 10 deeper down, nine, just dropping in, eight, letting go, seven, imagining yourself melting into the chair, six, this is boring, but it doesn't drop you deep. All right. Now related to that is your own voice. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you have a great voice for inductions. And I don't think it's so much the voice, but what I'm doing with my voice. So when I'm, as I'm talking to you, what I notice is each time I say something, I actually, my diaphragm actually holds up and I say something. But in, when you wanna put someone in a trance, you kind of wanna get yourself into the trance, but you don't need to go into that you know, theta state, you can actually just, the same as I said about the pacing and the out breath, do the same, breathe with them deeper, down, melting into the chair, instead of deeper, down, melting into the chair. I'm just going to take a moment. I want you to do that. I want you to say deeper down and then melting into the chair. 
first say it as you would conversely and notice here in your diaphragm how it actually kind of just grabs every time you speak and then say it in the out breath and just move your voice down with your out breath use the out breath to say those words do that now And so by doing both of those, talking in their out breath, and of course you're going to be breathing pretty much as they are, you'll actually take them down deeper. Another thing you can do is your client isn't sure that they're doing it right, especially when they first come in, right? So they're going to be having all sorts of thoughts and they might resist you a little bit. And so there's a technique used in NLP to really sink quickly to a client and really help move them into a change called pace, pace, lead. What that means is you want to pace as in watch and confirm two things that you're seeing, that you know about them, that you're witnessing, and a third statement that actually leads them into where you want to go you'll actually notice in your body, what happens is you tell them the truth, you're sitting on the chair. Inside, they'll actually have this kind of, yeah, affirmative. You'll tell them you're breathing deeply. That's what they're doing. Yeah, I am breathing. Your eyes are closed. Yeah, they are closed. They make a shift, you're shifting, or they make a shift and you say, yeah, that's it. So you're using pace, pace, you're naming things, or even for example, you can say, you've come for counseling because you want to do something about that problem. Yeah. Then you can say, you know, you're feeling quite anxious about it. And then lead them, for example, and you're ready to make that change. It, it's easier for that third, oh yeah, I guess I could, because you're already yes, yes, suggestion. Another one, for example, would be, just listen to these, right? I'm going to do something as general as I can to hopefully everyone's sitting in a chair. And everyone is closing their eyes. So do that now. So I already can assume that's what's happening. You're sitting down and your eyes are closed. And now listen to this beginning of your induction to really help deepen it. Your eyes are closed. Your body is settling into the chair. And I'm wondering if you might already notice a deep relaxation happening. And now another one, because you're here, so ready to learn to deepen, you can allow the lesson to happen quite quickly. Pace, pace, lead. And this is a great way to deepen, saying, for example, you might notice the rise and fall, pace, pace of your breath that allows you to drop easily into trance. Right? Or another one, as you settle in, because they're starting to shift, finding that comfortable position in the chair. You might feel ready to close your eyes now. One more I want to give. This will be the, um, I guess the fourth one, is don't be afraid to stack your inductions. I mean, really stack them. I remember I did a, 
class and the teacher had an induction that was actually instead of you know an induction and then a deepening she had an induction a deepening an induction a deepening by the time she finished with that second deepening we were all so deeply into trance and i've used that with my clients now i'll actually do four four deepenings and you know breath body counting and then another wave of relaxation and my clients are just gone they are so deep and it only really takes two minutes for almost each kind. And so I wanted to just um, tie this all together and show you how it doesn't need to take a half an hour to take your client into an actually very deep trance. But if you add that pace, pace lead, if you speak in your out breath, and make the suggestions and the relaxations as they are breathing out, not when they're breathing in. You can actually take them into a very deep state of trance in just a few minutes, six minutes. All right, so let's do that. Sit down if you're not already sitting, if you can, and close your eyes so I can assume almost as if we're in a session. And I'll be using those same kind of, as I just said, I'll be using the pace based lead, a few of them. I'll be speaking in the out breath. Unfortunately, I can't see you. So try to breathe with my breath. And, um, and I'll be doing four deepenings, four inductions, one breath, I'll do a wave. I'll do another kind of relaxing one part of the body and spreading that through the body. And then I'll count from five to one. Okay, so four different deepenings in so for about six minutes. Let's see how we do. All right. Your eyes are closed as you sit there on the chair. finding yourself already beginning to relax. Noticing the rise and the fall of your breath as you begin to deepen this trance. Imagining that every in-breath you're breathing in comfort and relaxation and every out breath you're releasing anything you no longer wish to hold on to and just by breathing you can feel so much more relaxed and so much deeper into trance. Taking in that wonderful oxygen in your in-breath and releasing that carbon dioxide waste. And I want you to imagine a wave of relaxation beginning at the very top of your head and sending that wave down your cheeks, your chin, your neck and shoulders, sending it down your chest and your stomach. The next in breath, send that wave into your belly, allowing it to spread through you, a deep, calm, deep, deep relaxation. Allowing that wave to continue all the way down your body, your legs, to your toes. And even imagine bringing it all the way back up. And then all the way back down like a wave on the edge of the beach. Seeking out any areas of your body. That perhaps need even more relaxation and sending this wave to those areas. 
sinking further, more and more relaxed. Perhaps you begin to notice and become aware of these beautiful and comfortable feelings of relaxation and contentment that is sinking further down your body. And as you do, your face relaxes. Your expression can be one of serenity as you go down, down, and further down. And these wonderful feelings spread through your neck and your shoulders, your chest and your stomach, and right out of your arms to your fingertips, and down your legs to the tips of your toes. Relax. Release. Loose and let. Now in a moment, I'm going to count from five to one. With each number, allowing yourself to go ten times as deep as you are. In the step for four becoming more and more relaxed with every step you take. With every breath you release, with every sound that you hear and every word that I say. And so beginning down five deep and deeper down, or just letting go. Three, so deep, so relaxed. Two, feeling so much calmer, so much more peaceful. And one. Deeply relax, realizing now that you have the ability to take your clients into an amazingly deep and comfortable state where change happens easily and effortlessly. So in a moment, I'm just going to count from one to five. When I reach five, you'll be totally back into this room, refreshed, alert, and ready to continue your day. And so one, pull yourself back into your body now, comfortable, but much more alert. Two, feeling, sensing the energy moving through your veins easily. Three, more grounded, sense your feet, sense your buttocks, sense your back. Or notice that there's any part of your body that may want to begin to just stretch. Taking now a refreshing breath in and five eyes open, alert, refreshed, awake, and ready to enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for listening to this presentation. And I hope it gave you some ideas of doing a little more deepening in your inductions. This is Eva Clark of Mind-Based Healing, and I hope to see you in other presentations. Bye.